Hello, this is Restreet, my final project for Flat Iron School. Restreet is an art platform for street artists. The artists can uh, find or post legal walls locations. The project is built with Rails API on the back end. I've used BigCrypt library to encrypt password information along with JWT. On the front end, it's built with React JavaScript and I've utilized two external APIs, Google Maps JavaScript API and Cloudinary API. Cloudinary is a cloud-based image and video management service and I use it to handle hosting of user-generated images. So uh, once a user opens a website, they cannot see any information besides uh, the home page and login sign up. So this is the home page. Uh, there shortly explain what uh, the mission is and what user can do here. So we can uh, sign up as a, a new user. I have validations built in here, so the username must be at least four characters long. Uh, my email is uh, checked. It should be a valid email. Uh, the password has to be at least six characters long. But actually, I'm gonna go and log in as an existing user. So once I'm uh, logged in, it takes me back to the home page, and uh, now a user can uh, see a navigation bar. And here uh, is my username, and if I click on the drop-down menu, I can see uh, that I have an access to my favorite art, my library, my listings, and my profile. I'm gonna go and check my profile first. It welcomes me back as a stranger from Mr. Roland. Why don't you tell us about us? So, so I'm gonna go and update my profile. If I click on this button, it takes me on a to the bottom of this page, and I can actually go and update my name, uh, my location, Seattle, and my where I'm artist, and update my profile, and I will see welcome back, Rita from Seattle. I'm an artist. So the main functionality of my website is um, that uh, users can find a legal wall location. So if we click on the find wall, it takes us to the Google map and map location defaults to downtown Seattle. But if we want to find walls locations around me, we always can enter an address here, any city, any country, or we can use this compass. If I click on the compass, it takes me to my location and the compass is uh, using HTML5 geolocation API and it works only if user enables the location in the browser. So it took me to the place where I live and I can see that there is one wall available around me. Uh, so then I click on this marker I can see a picture of a wall and here is a short description, a local gas station and the address where the wall is located and then I uh, see button email to reserve. If I click on this button, it opens up a default email app and I can see uh, owner email and also the subject with a wall reservation at this address 620 Denny Street. I'm gonna go and close it for now. Uh, if the wall was already reserved by another artist, we can see here instead of the button email to reserve, we see another artist is already working here. But let's say uh, we wanna post a wall ourselves post it here. So we click on a map and it creates a new mark. We click on it and now we can add a new location. Let's say the address is Pine Street, Seattle, Washington. Zip code. I'm not sure what zip code is, but let's do this one and description. Um, I need help with mural. And here we um, 
can uh, put a URL for our footer and create a new wall. So a new wall was created and now if we click on our bucket, we can see I need help with a mural and we can email to reserve this wall. But let's say somebody emailed me and they want to come and um, do perform my art there. So I can go to my listings and from here I can either delete a listing or I can click if a wall was adopted by uh, an artist so now when I click on this link I can see that another artist is already working here if this artist changes their mind I always can go back to all my listings and I can list this again and this listing is available for adoption by another artist so uh, uh, users here can not only find locations of walls, but they also can get some inspiration. And if I go to the Get Inspired tab, I can see here uh, random modern art paintings. Every time a user comes to this page, the paintings would be um, uh, randomly generated from a database. And here I tried to create a Pinterest like like out uh, so let's say i like this painting oh, which one okay i like this one so i click on it and it brings me uh on a painting information page from here i can go back i can edit to my favorite paintings and here also i have colors extracted from the painting and if i get inspired by this painting i can always go and buy the same colors and paint something similar i can see who is author of this painting uh, i'm an artist and like what year it was painted and uh, i'm gonna go and add it to my favorite list and now from here i can go to my favorite art and so here i have all our art paintings that I already liked. If I don't want to have them here anymore, I can just delete it. If I go to the uh, learn page, so here I can see videos. Uh, these videos related to painting, street art, pop art, and teach a user how to paint. And if I come to this page again, if I refresh my page, they do, these videos would be like randomly generated every time. Uh, from here, I can add, add them to my library or I can see this lesson. If I open this lesson, I can add it to my library from here also. I can see video description can hide this and all while I'm watching this video I can add some notes on this video so let's say I need to buy canvas I need to buy canvas I add a note here and there is a sticky note appears here on the screen uh, by blue paint so all my notes are positioned on the differently to create the visual effect of real sticky notes and if I hover over them they kind of zoomed in and, and I can delete them if I don't want them anymore. Uh, from my personal like drop down menu I have an access to my library. So here are all the videos I saved for later view and if I don't want to watch them anymore I can delete them. And if I go to the share tab, so this is where our users share their art. Uh, here I try to create Instagram like layout and experience. So here are all the art which was posted by our users. If I like uh, something like this one, click on it and I can see that this art was posted two days ago by username by user with username Oli and right now he has zero likes. I can click and uh, like this art and once I click on the button it, it gets disabled so I cannot click anymore. I cannot unlike it either. It would be kind of unfair to like it and then unlike it. Go back and I can upload my own art. So 
I choose a file from my computer and let's say I want to add uh, uh, no I want to add this one okay I'm gonna submit it takes a second and now I can go and see my art so it takes me right to the my posted art so I don't have to scroll through the whole page and if I click on it now I actually uh, have a function to delete it since I'm the owner of this art I can actually don't like it so I'm just gonna go and delete it and that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video